Have you ever wondered if peer review is the gold standard for validating research? Let's take a moment to unpack that question and understand why it's so crucial in the world of research and science. So, what is peer review? Simply put, it's a process that involves the evaluation of scientific, academic, or professional work by others working in the same field. It's like getting your work proofread, but on a much more complex and rigorous level. The idea is that by having your research scrutinized by your peers, any mistakes or bias can be identified and corrected before it becomes accepted knowledge. Now, why is this process so important in scientific research? Well, science is all about building on the work of others, and for that to happen, we need to be sure that the work we're building on is sound. That's where peer review comes in. It's a kind of quality control for science, ensuring that only the best, most reliable research gets published and shared with the wider scientific community. It's the gatekeeper, if you will, standing between a sea of unverified claims and the citadel of scientific knowledge. But like any human endeavor, peer review is not without its flaws. It's not a perfect system, and it's been criticized for being too slow, too subjective, and sometimes even biased. Critics argue that it can stifle innovative ideas, favor well-known researchers, and even perpetuate existing paradigms at the expense of new thinking. The question of reliability is a big one. Can we trust the process? Does it ensure that only the best research makes it through? Or does it sometimes let through flawed studies while blocking potentially groundbreaking research? These are important questions, and they're ones we're going to explore in this video. So buckle up, because we're about to take a deep dive into the world of peer review, its criticisms, its shortcomings, and its limitations. Let's delve into the criticisms and shortcomings that challenge the reliability of peer review. Critics argue that peer review is not without its flaws. Indeed, one of the most significant criticisms revolves around bias. Bias in peer review can take many forms. For instance, there's the potential for favoritism towards well-known researchers or prestigious institutions. On the flip side, there can be bias against less established researchers or those from less recognized institutions. Then there's the potential for bias in terms of the subject matter itself. Controversial or unconventional research might face more scrutiny, while research that aligns with a reviewer's own views might receive an easier pass. Another major criticism is the lack of transparency in the peer review process. The cloak of anonymity can sometimes shield reviewers from accountability, leading to reviews that are unfairly harsh, overly lenient, or simply not thorough enough. Furthermore, the decisions made during the review process often remain hidden from the public eye. This lack of transparency can lead to questions about the validity of the review process and potentially undermine confidence in the published research. Lastly, let's talk about the speed, or rather, the lack thereof, in the peer review process. It's not uncommon for the process to take several months or even over a year. This slow pace can be a major roadblock, especially in fields where timely research is crucial. The inefficiency can delay the dissemination of important findings, and in some cases, it can even discourage researchers from pursuing certain lines of inquiry altogether. In summary, while the peer review process plays a crucial role in maintaining the integrity of academic research, it's clear that it's not without its issues. Bias, lack of transparency, and inefficiencies in the process are all significant criticisms that need to be addressed. These criticisms raise questions about the effectiveness of the peer review process. As we move forward, it's essential to consider these criticisms and work towards refining and improving the system to ensure it remains a robust and reliable tool for validating academic research. The shortcomings of peer review further complicate its reliability. Let's dive into the first point, reviewer competence. It's a well-known fact that not all reviewers are created equal. Some have a deep understanding of the research topic at hand, while others may be less familiar. This discrepancy can lead to a lack of understanding of the research being reviewed, and thus, potential misunderstandings or misinterpretations. This uneven playing field can result in inconsistent evaluations, with some papers being scrutinized more heavily than others, and some potentially flawed research slipping through the cracks. Next, let's talk about the potential for unethical practices. While most reviewers maintain a high level of integrity, there are always outliers. Some reviewers, for instance, may hold personal biases against certain researchers or theories, which can unfairly influence their reviews. There's also the risk of reviewers intentionally delaying the review process to beat their competition to publication, a practice known as reviewer lags. 
And let's not forget about the potential for plagiarism, where a reviewer might steal ideas from a paper they're reviewing. Finally, we come to the issue of inconsistent quality and standards. Despite the existence of guidelines and checklists, the quality of peer reviews can vary widely. Some reviewers may provide detailed feedback while others offer only cursory comments. Furthermore, what one reviewer considers a major flaw, another might dismiss as a minor issue. This lack of standardization can lead to confusion and uncertainty, and ultimately, inconsistent decision-making. These shortcomings pose serious challenges to the peer review process. They introduce elements of subjectivity and bias, undermine fairness, and can lead to the acceptance of flawed research. Not only do they question the reliability of peer review, but they also cast a shadow on its credibility. Shortcomings such as these not only question the reliability of peer review, but also its credibility. Despite its criticisms and shortcomings, peer review has limitations that cannot be overlooked. Let's delve deeper into these limitations. Firstly, one of the most significant limitations is that peer review doesn't catch all errors. While the process is designed to identify and correct mistakes, it's not foolproof. Reviewers are human after all, and they can miss errors or misunderstand the author's intent. Remember, even the most diligent experts can overlook details, especially when they're reviewing complex and specialized research. This limitation can lead to the publication of flawed studies, tarnishing the reputation of the researchers and the journal alike. Next, let's talk about how peer review is not a measure of importance or impact. The review process is primarily focused on assessing the validity of the research methods and findings. However, it doesn't necessarily gauge the potential significance or broader impact of the research. A study could be methodologically sound but lack novelty or relevance to the larger scientific community. Therefore, the process of peer review may not always highlight the most groundbreaking or impactful studies. Finally, it's crucial to understand that peer review doesn't always detect fraud or misconduct. Dishonest researchers, unfortunately, can manipulate data, plagiarize, or engage in other unethical practices. While peer reviewers are experts in their field, they are not forensic investigators. They review the information presented to them and assume it's honest and accurate. So if someone is intent on committing fraud, they can often slip through the cracks of the peer review process. These limitations further underscore the need for a more robust system of validation in research. While the peer review process is undoubtedly a cornerstone of scientific research, it's not without its faults. As we continue to rely on it for validating research, we must also strive to address its limitations and continually improve the process. After all, the goal is to ensure that only the highest quality research is recognized and shared with the world. The reliability of peer review, despite its criticisms, shortcomings, and limitations, remains a cornerstone of scientific research. At its core, the peer review process is designed to uphold the quality of scientific research. It's a filtration system, if you will, where the aim is to ensure only rigorous, accurate, and high-quality research sees the light of day. When a research paper is subjected to peer review, it's scrutinized by experts in the field who examine the methodology, data collection, analysis, and conclusions drawn. They act as the gatekeepers, identifying any potential flaws, biases, or errors that might have slipped through the cracks. The peer review process, therefore, acts as a quality control mechanism. It's a bit like having a group of master chefs taste a dish before it's served to the public. They'll check the ingredients, the cooking methods, and the presentation, ensuring it's up to the highest standard. But peer review is not just about quality, it's also about maintaining the integrity of the scientific community. It's a system that holds researchers accountable for their work, fostering a culture of honesty, transparency, and rigor. It discourages malpractices such as data fabrication or plagiarism, ensuring the work published is original and authentic. In essence, peer review is a form of self-regulation by the scientific community. It's a way of saying, we hold ourselves to the highest standards, and we're committed to producing work that is reliable, valid, and trustworthy. Despite the criticisms, the shortcomings, the limitations, the peer review process has proven to be effective in maintaining the quality and integrity of scientific research. It's not perfect, of course, there's always room for improvement, but it's a system that has served us well, and one that continues to evolve to meet the changing needs of the scientific community. While peer review is not without its flaws, it continues to serve as an important safeguard in scientific research. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share and comment.
Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to keep up with the latest content.